All right, good morning everybody. This is Dave with Dave's Acrylic Pouring. And today I'm going to be mixing up some Rolio uh, Pigments Mica Powder. Now, I've used Mica Powder before. Um, it's been this uh, Curate Color from that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. They came in a three pack. They had gold and copper and silver. I've used that before to add to my paints. But these paints right here, these pigmented mica powders are <clears throat> in essence that they will pigment the uh, medium for me so I don't need to put the add those to paint now uh, <clears throat> what we are going to mix with now this this package right here I got on uh, the internet and it's uh, 24 different colors very vibrant colors <clears throat> so what our medium is is this Minwax polycrylic crystal clear top coat <clears throat> and this is the clear gloss mind you that there are different kinds there's the clear gloss there's the uh, satin there's a matte finish make sure you get the clear gloss on this polycrylic okay Let's move it out of the way <clears throat> now I've already got some polycrylic in my cup here and we are going to get a cup turn on our scale so that we can make sure that we are um, accurate in our mixing. So we are going to go to one ounce. Or roughly, that's 1.02, but sorry. So let's move this out of the way for now. And let's go with let's go with this one. This one's called Blue Iris. <clears throat> you want to make sure that you smack it a little bit. Try to get that powder down before you open it because you don't want to open it and have it spray out at you. And I don't have very good fingernails because I'm a construction worker and <laughs> I can't keep longer nails. It just doesn't work for me. Okay, now this mica powder is not as fine as straight pigment powder, but still you don't want to get this dust up in the air. So, we have our one ounce. Make sure that that's in the camera screen. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to take... See how much is on there. We're going to do two of those. And we'll mix that up and see how we turn out. Now this is 100% polycrylic by the way. There's nothing added to it. There's no nothing at all. So we're going to give this a good mix. Now this mica powder, um, you have to make sure that you mix it very, very, very well. Because otherwise you'll have clumps of the pigmented powder in there. And look at that sheen. That is absolutely brilliant. Scrape your side, everything. <coughs> Oh my goodness, that is so pretty. This is going to make a fine painting. Now you can always, if you don't like how dark a certain color is, you can always add a little bit of white paint to it to lighten it up. <clears throat> But basically what we're doing here is we have to have a medium for this pigment powder to um, or this uh, mica powder to uh, adhere to so that when it dries it'll stay it has to have the binders in it um, <clears throat> something to hold it together because if you were I mean you could mix this with straight water and it would look exactly the same but 
wet when you put it on your canvas and you use it like that, as soon as it dried, all the mica powder would just flake right off. So you've got to have something that will bind it together and keep it, keep it whole for you. Okay, that's fantastic. I'm really loving that color. Okay, let's do this again. Let's that one off. Set up again. Tear it out. That's T A R E. Going back to one ounce. Come on now. Okay, we're back at 1.02. I guess we're stuck there. All right, let's go with um, this one's good. It's called the turquoise. Now these mica powders are not cheap, so make sure 100% that when you are using these that you get those uh, bags closed back up. They're a zipper, like a Ziploc bag. Um, make sure you get them closed back up so you don't lose your colors. Again, we can do the same thing. Same amount. Two of those. Seal my bag back up. Give this a good stir. Get that mica powder really worked in there. Oh, the shimmer on this, it's absolutely gorgeous. Look at that color. Got that oil on water uh, look that gives it that brilliant. Uh, one for like your uh, shelly blooms and things like that. You see them using a lot of this stuff that where they get these really vibrant colors that have really awesome sheen to them. This is the way to do it right here. And don't be afraid to keep stirring because you can't over stir it. It's you just got to get it mixed in there. All right. We have two colors now. Let's go for one more and then uh, I will see you in my next video where I'm actually going to use these colors. Okay, okay, okay. I see how you are. Let's go with let's go with the deep pink. Let's try that one out. <clears throat> the other thing that you have to remember when you're mixing up these mica powder, uh, the different colors, is you want to make sure that you uh, choose the right colors from your spectrum. You have primary colors, secondary colors, uh, <clears throat> and um, colors in between your secondary colors, such as your blue-greens, your yellow-oranges, things like that. And <clears throat> you 
want to make sure that you don't also um, go exactly opposite on your color wheel also like you're doing uh, greens and reds that's going to give you a brown and it's going to ruin the color choices that you have so make sure that the colors that you choose uh, will complement each other I think that's actually enough right there because that was a good hefty scoop <clears throat> all right Now when you first start stirring, don't go all haywire and just, you know, start whipping it around real fast because that is powder and it will uh, go up in your face. So I kind of keep my uh, popsicle stick at an angle so that I'm, I'm kind of like pushing it down into the uh, fluid, into the polycrylic. before if you can uh, mix these with any other mediums um, you can mix them with uh, just Sonia uh, pouring medium that'll work just as well as the polycrylic um, but don't add it to like flow troll uh, or your school glue things like that because you're not going to get the same <coughs> excuse me the same effect your uh, polycrylics, your Jasonias, um, and even the uh, GAC 800 will give it more of a clear uh, drying effect when you put those on a, a piece of paper, whatever, and let them just completely dry out by themselves, the, the mediums. You'll notice that those three things, the polycrylic, the Jasonia, and the GAC 800s are going to be more clear than um, your Floetrol, your glue, or some of the other uh, pouring mediums. So when you're using these mica powders, um, you want the clearest uh, effect that you can get so that the mica powder can shine through it. So that's why we use polyacrylic. That's usually going to be the, your cheapest route. Uh, Jasonia is a little bit more expensive and <clears throat> the GAC 800 is more expensive. So that's why I choose the polyacrylic. It's a little bit cheaper. I try to do things on a budget. So, all right, well guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys uh, have learned something with me and um, stay tuned, like I said, for the next video where I'm going to be using these colors and we'll see how vibrant they work, to, uh, how vibrant these colors, how these vibrant colors work well together, excuse me. <laughs> all right guys, thanks for watching. Hit that subscription button if you wouldn't mind. That helps grow the channel and uh, throw me a like. All right, you guys have a good day. Remember, pour on.